like a hundred cake, cupcakes in the night. Or we said all night. Different flavors. And then someone ordered some from me. And then a lady had an event. I bought all these cupcakes. And the people she had there, just sitting around, but she had a spa treatment thing going on. I bought all these cupcakes there. And I was only charging like $2 for a cupcake. Especially they, they were nice. It was nothing. But guess what? I ended up taking half of them back. I gave out and I didn't want to take all the back. I gave, gave, gave them back. I said, oh, well, I was kind of disappointed. She had me bake all these cupcakes that she ordered for her guests. And she only had like 10 women there. Wow. So I understand what you're talking about. The work you put into what you do, you know, and it's for a good cause. It's not like it's going in your pocket. It's something that you're trying to raise for the kids. I'm trying to raise for myself because of the difficult. Right, yeah, to help you promote your business and all that stuff. No, to help promote myself to go to a tournament. Yeah, that yeah, I that's can. what I mean. That's what I mean. That's what I'm talking about. Promote yourself. For but they want to get. They want to get into personal things. Oh, you, your par your parents got it and all that. And I say it's none of your business. How, how my, what my parents? I says it's personal. But you know, what? I don't like to talk about yeah. like that. But see that. See they that? make it personal. That's where I say that's just being ignorant. If you don't want to help somebody, shut up. Don't say nothing at all. Here they are here busting their butts, and you're trying to defame their character practically, or, or, or make excuses, or trying to embarrass them, or humiliate them. Because that's what that is to me. That's how I look at it. I know how you feel. Because you're going to meet people all across, all across the world. Everybody's not going to be happy. Because Misery Loves Company, that's one thing I continue to stay fast on because nothing has changed, Sal, in, in anything we do. Anything you do, you got to learn how to just shoot them people out. And sometimes, not saying nothing is the best thing. You know why? Because it keeps your, your pride and your sanity within yourself. Because anytime somebody says something ignorant and you react to it, they got the upper hand. And, and you know, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard, especially when you have a passion about something that's so important to you and you're trying to do for somebody else. But that's where the hum humble has to be real strong, fast. And it's hard because I do go through it every day. I live in a neighborhood with people who are just, just I don't even call them human. Not everybody in my neighborhood, but the majority of the people there. They got some mental, mental issues going on. Mental is mental. Never, probably never seen a counselor, nobody in their life. But I tell you one thing, you need to build something. I'm telling you, besides smoking toxic weed and shit. <laughs> it's a shame, the, this kid I used to help out. Mm -hmm. 12, and he was at a recent tournament in January with mm -hmm. me, indoors, and then for some reason, mm -hmm. Nobody sees him no more, talk to him. He started doing, actually he was doing it then. I think he just turned 20 or 21. He's doing a lot of vape marijuana. And oh. it killed, and he just he stopped talking. No, he just stopped talking to me, and that was the end of that. And I used to support him a lot in the tournament. So his brain has been warped from smoking the vape. Yeah, he's, he's, that's all he's doing now. I've I yeah, seen him once this right. year. You know what? After Janet, I seen him. It was, they changed that clip. Oh, I know, I know, I know, because just like this pedophile got a hold of my daughter, he took off her medication so he could give her Molly and other stuff to mess her up. So that's what I think he's doing. Too. Yeah. yeah. And his parents don't synthetic, synthetic chemical, synthetic drugs. And his parents, he's a Chinese, six foot, and his parents are like Switzerland. And his, I don't think he needs to try to talk to you for the rest of the year, and then he wants to talk to you. know what? I don't think they can try. You know what? I don't think they can try. I don't think they can try. I don't think they can try. If he's doing that, that's what he is. I'm not saying like, well, he's doing a lot of marijuana. I'm not saying like, well, he's doing a lot of marijuana. Well, that's basically, you know, I don't think that's the most stuff out here. This thing is going to be that it's chemically messing up your brain anymore. And that's the scary part. And that's the scary part. And that's the scary part.
shots he would normally make. He's not even making it. It's dangerous with brain cells. And that's what that stuff is doing. And in terms of. Because I tried to contact. He messaged me on the phone about a week ago. Said, yo, Sally. And then I messaged him back. I messaged him back. And he's like, no, this is not such and such. But I know it's him. Wow. He's trying to be Ted. He's somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> but I know it's him because the way he messaged us back. Right. Because he said the word. <laughs> That's what he said. And I met, answered him back. And he, oh, it's not me. But then he called one time and did the same thing. But I hear the voice. So and I, I can tell. So I he's like, it's not so me. It's not me. And I could tell he's, he had. Right. So you know what? We're going to pray for this young man because you know why? Because, he, you know, hopefully if he sees this show that he'll understand what this, what it is he's is messing up his whole character, you know, and everything. You know him as soon as a boy. He's a good kid. I know him since he's like 12 years old. Yeah. I used to take him to the tournament and help him, like, support him in it. Oh, can you take me to the tournament? I used to have to go all the way to Brooklyn and then all the way to yeah. Now, I go on my own, and it's... Well, let me ask you a question, Sal. In terms of this whole thing, like, for the kids and everything, how do you think that it would... Like, in this day and time, what we're dealing with is that these kids are in a more and more high-rate peer pressure. And I think, I find it, I know, I know you find sports keep that. Sports has kept a lot of kids out of trouble. It actually keeps... A lot of kids are out of trouble, and it stopped them from committing a crime. Yes, or committing suicide. The suicide yeah. rate is still very high out. Our kids, we're losing them. We we're losing them like crazy, and it's, it's all the little stuff like vape. Because you could actually... Synthetic dope. Synthetic coke. What else they got? Synth yeah, synthetic pills like Molly pills. Somebody... Put too much chemical in it. See, for the, they do it's like it. for the pain. Somebody told me take this synthetic. I said, "Oh, thank you." Mm -mm, don't do it. But a friend of mine took it, and you know what? He had pain or whatever. He was fine. But I says, "I can't do that." Was the medicine I take? It would not be good for it. It might affect my. I said, "I can't do that." And everybody's chemistry is different. Yeah. Everybody's hormones are different. They have their their um. Their yeah, immune system is different, you know, we're at different phases, so every drug or whatever somebody's taking affect, like, if, the way it affects that kid, if I took it, I might just die. If I, if I vape, whatever he's vaping, that might just take me out. You understand? Yeah. See, that's the difference, you know, when we deal with synthetic fake stuff, especially fake stuff. You know, because a lot of them they can't afford the, 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 the real stuff. So now they, they're making so much synthetic pill, all that stuff. You don't know what's and in the it. the actual stores are selling it against the law. And that's why that's true. undercover cops go in and poof. Well, you know what? They ain't doing their job either. I'm sorry. I'm not giving no. them no credit. I'm not giving, them, I don't credit. Give I'm not giving them no credit for the simple fact is that just right here, what I see in Staten Island, I see they look away at certain things. The only thing they, only thing they want to do is eat coffee and donuts and drive around and put their mic on and speed and pass people in line on, on, in traffic when they're not going to emergency. You know, and they do that a lot. They go to the police and they do that. They do it in the police and they're not going nowhere. They just go, <laughs> they're not going they're just to the they're not going to a crisis. <laughs> but there's been little accidents that contact me, people. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny, but I'm keeping it real, but you know what? Real is real. But it's sad wow. that actual cops I seen on the news <laughs> killed people. They were speeding. Yeah. Yep. Well, that's another era we can talk about. The violent trend, you know, continues to see well, that. Well, I got, you know, I we, can't we, we chill, got, but we got <laughs> I got a little scar line here because a few days ago I had an e-bike cut me off when I was riding my three-wheel I fell on the right side and then jumped right, back that's up. That's right, you have bikes too. Now I have a three-wheel but now there's a little more damage to the wheels. The e-bike cut me off but I'm lucky I jumped up. He was speeding.
Yeah. And I tried to turn, guys, but I fell sideways and jumped up. He, he was just gone. Well, I'm glad you, I had an electric bike. No, this wasn't, I didn't have an electric. This guy had an electric. He was doing 45 miles an hour. I had an electric bike. Let me tell you. I had got it, and I had, and I had signed my contract with him. But I got to keep it for 30 days. And in 30 days, if I didn't, if I, if I didn't want it, I'd get my money back. And guess what? The break went, I was spread in between two buses. Because I like to, I'm a bike rider, I like to ride bikes too. And I was enjoying, I was on Bay Street and Victory. Cut me up, I fell, I fell in the air. On the, I just got the bike. I was loving it. I was speeding. And it felt good, the wind felt good and everything. Turn on Victory and Bay. I got caught between two buses. And if I didn't turn, I fell off the bike in the air. And I was going to get a tattoo, y'all. That day. I'm going to meet somebody doing my tattoo. And I came and I said, You alright? And my bike, uh, my bike was okay, it just got a little scratch on it. Then all of a sudden, something happened to the brake. Okay, I said, you know, that's it. I 30 days on this up. Come get this bike. Put my money back in my, on my card. That's what the contract was. So they had to give me money back. So I didn't go, I haven't been able to find another bike, but I will talk about that later so you maybe you can help me because I want to get, I want to get a moped with the gas, I want the gas, I want the gas, I want the electric. I want to put gas in it. You have to watch out because if it goes a certain mile and you put the gas, they give you a summons ticket and they confiscate it. It's got to go a below mileage, not over a certain mileage. Oh, you got to, well, you got to teach me something because this young kid, he got this fly ass bike. I love it. And it's on gas. And that thing is soft. And he told me he paid 800 for it. But with that, you have to get a special... He don't even have a license. Because he hasn't got caught yet. No, he said he don't have to have a license for it. A lot of the gas, if it, even if it don't go to pick, you have to... You don't see many of the ones gas that, you know, they don't go as fast. You don't see many of them around no more because they confiscated them. Wow. But well, I tell you, I see a lot of... No, they do it because they say they don't need a lot. You know what? You need some type of a little... If it goes past, what they say? Past 30 miles, or uh, 25, or something, 30, mile, 30 miles an hour, 30 and over, you have to... It's required a license. I get it. I'm right now, 30 and over. What? We got to talk more about that. That's true. You will look it up. The 30 and you're over... You're teaching me something because that's my next investment. For me, I want... I love the ride. I have a friend that has a, an actual gas motorcycle, you know, a bike. And he delivers DoorDash in Brooklyn because he lives near Coney Island. Guess what? What happened? He been on the highway a little, and he has, he don't even have his full license yet. He still has his, what do you Permit? Call? He still has his permit for a year. And he's never got caught yet. And he's wow. 35, 30-something. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, if it goes over a certain speed limit, they, they require you a license now. Because the electric little motor, motor that's considered an actual mo mo uh, motor, that's a considered like a motorcycle or some more. Yeah, well, I asked the kid about it. He says, no. He said, I don't have that. And the other guy, he had a motorcycle. He said, no, because it's not a motorcycle. It, it's, it, it, yeah, but you don't, know how, you don't know how fast it goes. He put on the front. Well, to me, it's fast to me to help. I see him speeding out. I see well, him speeding. you know what? He don't want to get caught, probably. And he's he wears a helmet, though. He has yeah, a helmet I'm on. I'm just saying, you don't get caught. But if you get caught, your bike's gone. They, wow. they confiscate a lot all over Staten Island, the city. Yeah, it's funny because one of my neighbors, he had just bought a brand new motorcycle. I said, look. I knew the family. I said, look. Somebody just, the police just came and took this man's motorcycle. And I told the mother and them, and they kept, I said, he said, he just bought, I said, you bought a hot? Yeah, like he didn't know why. I said, you better go to the police and find out why they took your motorcycle. Now I know why. Because he had no license on it. And it, and it probably was stolen. That's right, if you get a regular electric bike. But they came, they came with the police truck and took it right in front of my building. Like, if you get a leather, regular electric bike and everything, yeah, I have if it goes too fast. Well, mine was fast. But you have to watch because 
they they give you tickets for speed. Well, I, mean, I was I did speed. But the thing, no, the thing it doesn't do is if a car speeds or a motorcycle speeds, that doesn't give the ticket. Doesn't give a ticket even to the bikes, only to the cars. The speed cam always gives ticket to the. The car and the trucks to the speed, so but the bikes, the bike, they can't it. know, they can't detect it too fast. Well, we're doing a new tech thing. Let me tell you something. Somebody just brought me up on that. They have, well, I know my neighborhood. The guy showed me up top. They have, he said that that thing right there, that's for bullets, shooting bullets. They get that ratio. If somebody shoot up a gun, that's what that's for. Over the light. He said yeah. that's not that's not a that's not a camera. That's for bullets. That is, because my, my mother got a ticket. It was what? She was doing 40 miles an hour. Something was going on. But she didn't see the camera. Mm -hmm. But as she got the ticket, she was doing 41, and I think it was 35. Or, no, speed one was 30. As she got the ticket, this guy was flying, doing 50 past the, as the camera. He was on the bike? No, he was on, He was speeding past her in the car, doing 50, but the camera got her, and this guy was, like, over here. He didn't get the ticket. She did. What? Yeah. That's interesting. Because they, they speed, vet, when they go, when they try to speed, when the camera tries to detect a car going fast, it can't detect that fast. Sometimes it don't. It will respond, but it will get the other person. It's the signal and getting it. Yeah. It's the signal that like, they're going too fast. If you're doing 50 and I'm doing 40, right. it would actually catch me. Catch you before it gets the one that's going faster. No, it would actually catch me and not catch you. You said if you're going 40 yeah. and I'm going 50, that means you're going less. Yeah, because the speed limit is 35, so I'm going five miles over it. Right. It would catch me, not you. Yes, yeah, like you said. Because by the time the signal reacts, it's already... Right. So that means the person who's going the fastest, it won't get the ticket. Even though the other one is over the speed limit too, but it's less than the one who's going faster than the one yeah. who's going fast too, but not as fast as the one. I got it. That's some crazy stuff. They better... Listen, y'all better get it together, United States. You know, y'all better get some different techs in there, know what they're doing, and stop putting things up fast and using people as guinea pigs and giving them tickets for other people who deserve the ticket besides the one who they got the ticket. That's crazy. I had to say that. I'm sorry, Sal. I had to say that one. But let's get back and we look. I enjoy talking to him. I want to get back to his paddle ball stuff and everything. I know we got off the course for a minute, but... At least we got some good information. I got some information for him, and he gave some information to you. You know, those who would like bikes like me, you know, something to look at. But back to the kids that we were talking about, the students, you know, in terms of this sport. It's one, it's a good sport that kids, because kids love balls. They love basketball, they love baseball, you know, and I find that, I find that those who want to take advantage of a sport like this, they keep away from the negative people out there. You know, and, and what I want to hear you say, basically, Sal, in terms of telling the public and telling the kids out there that are interested in getting with you in this program that you want to develop for kids, out of all, and all, because this is really exciting, you know. Maybe I might want to take a course from you. <laughs> Sixty-one. How about that? I'll be sixty-two coming up, but I would love to um, get more. See, that's the one thing I want to do now with Seriously. that because of whatever they not take yeah, and make them get better at it, and right. then it make me feel better. If this yeah. other kid would have stuck around, it would have been good for me. But well, listen, there are more kids out there that want something like this, and they can find. No, but some parents are strict. They won't. Because they well, want all the what? proof. They want this, they want that, they want this, they well, want that. Well, listen, we know we have a standard. Well, I'm just saying, if you trust your kid to go to school, that well, should be trust, too. Well, you're you letting know. them go to school. You're letting them leave her in the crowd I, I and all that stuff going on. Yeah. They get to school. Because, see, that's the thing. See, once your kid goes to school, it's a totally different ball game. You know, we know that. 
Like I told you, I used to get on the bus, and I think it was St. Mary's, a Catholic school, right? These little girls had on, on their uniform. I said, look at this little girl. So when she got on the bus with her friends, she took off, she changed her whole thing. She had a little mini school skirt on. You know, uniform, school uniform, Catholic uniform on. Had the shirt pulled up like this, put on makeup. Now they came out with their face. Little kids, little girls. Soon they get on school, and then they had a little bag, changed back into their regular clothes. So they go home like they're so sweet and nice, and they're good and perfect, like parents, their parents think they're the perfect ones. But everyone was out there being the little hoes. Yeah. How about that? And it's funny, it's funny because it, it reminds you of some, because we're older, of when we were kids. But these kids today are not like us. They're not like you and your age at this format, and they're definitely not like what I came up with. Yes, kids are going to be mistress and everything. That's, you're going to find some, you're going to find some fast ones out there. You're going to find some that, that, that's dropouts, you know, because I had a lot. When I was school, I grew up in the Hamptons. And let me tell you, we, the beach was our front. We had a beach called Hot Dog Beach. That's where all the bikers were. That's why I love bikes. <laughs> Talking about party. Party, cut school, and go to the beach. Now, let me tell you what you find out there. Back then, it was acid strip. It was on the acid strip. Hash. Real marijuana. <laughs> Cocaine came in the scene and those who like heroin. I mean, real heroin. And I was a youngster. So what they doing now, like I I never seen, I never knew that a person, I always thought the person who did heroin was always new. That's why I never messed with it. Because I don't like these. I said, cry about the doctor. Thank you, man. I still act crazy when they have to take blood from me. So you better get it right or you're not going to my home. She's not going to poke me up like I'm a junkie. Yeah. Seriously. But I didn't know in my old age that people could sniff. No, I thought you only be shooting up. Trying to think, I know a guy in his seventies that plays pal, and oh. he's actually. <laughs> and I'm watching, and I'm like, let me tell you something. And let me tell you, after he smokes the tree, he's supposed to play next. <laughs> he said it just. Well, let me tell you, being in South Jamaica, right? I knew people who were basketball coaches. In the profession, models. And also, when I was in college, I did a paper on Havon. So I knew who to go to to tell me about Havon. And I got about an A plus on my freaking paper, the, the research I did on it. Yeah. I went to real people to mess with Havon. And let me tell you, I, I said, looking at these professional people, they're every day they're making big money, you wouldn't believe we ain't had no tracks. They shot in their vagina, in their penis, in their toes. He's a freaking basketball coach. But you would know. Go to work every day, even the Wall Street tycoons, where they're, they're their corporate broken suits, honey, heroin addicts. But you would know it, making a lot of money. You wouldn't even know it. You wouldn't even know it. And especially, especially women, those in the profession, they never, you would never see no tracks. Because they were shooting their vagina, wearing their feet. Even though you wouldn't see no tracks. Stone heroin addicts. You make a lot of money. I said, what? How many folks should they do that? They afford their habit. They make a lot of money. But what you see on the street, it's not what you see in the profession. That's all I'm saying. I know. See? And that's where the hypocrite comes. Because the same ones that, that putting people away in jail for drugs, they most of them, some of them are drug addicts. Don't get it twisted. Drugs, drug, um, judges. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's why I used to. Oh, yeah. That's why I like Big to, time. Big time. I used to like to play the people that did the drugs. But it was stupid because they'd play me, they'd play good, 
But then they'd lose the money to me, and then they'd... I'd say, you, you lost, you gotta give it to me. I says, you, you don't have the money to buy it again? Sorry, you lost, you gotta give it to me. Yeah. And that's what happens. That's terrible. So what do you have to say for these kids, you know, in terms of what, what you're trying to do with, with, with getting this off the ground? Because I see a lot of the kids, these kids are dying out here. I see a lot of kids younger that were into the sports and everything, mm -hmm. even the sport I played, hit the power, and now once this vape thing, that's all I see now. You know, you know, you know I, the vape is worse than smoking a cigarette, honey. That's all chemical. You got, I mean, they, I mean, am I, you know, they got kids that are, I said, they can get a ticket to that? Yeah, it's chemical. Well, they say, they say it helps them communicate and focus more in their class, but I don't believe in that. No, no. Yeah, and this kid fast, I was telling about the, he was a few, last, was it last year? He was a few months away to graduate. He didn't graduate, I found out. So some of, one of his friends told me. And I don't think his parents, they probably knew some, but he, I don't think he even went for a GED or nothing. Wow. Is he your only child? I, he's the only child. Wow. That's sad, but you know what? There's other ones just like him. And, you know, I want you, see how our time flies? I want you, Sal, to keep doing what you're doing. It's going to come. I believe that, and I always say to people that it's not what you do, it's how you do it, and it's always the principle. If you stick to the principle, I don't care what anybody say, say hey, whatever. You know, people defame me every day, and I sit there and laugh at them because, you know, like I said, this, 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 this garbage in our neighborhood is still, still in charitable goods, selling it to the bodega stores. She thinks she's the quack. And let me tell you something, the more she come at me, the more she's telling of herself. And I still look at her and they be like, you know what? The creator got your back. The creator got your back. You know, because the more you lie, the fame somebody's character, it's not going to make you look better. But if you believe, that's the way I was raised. If you believe and love what you do, it that's, will. That's why. It will. Winning, winning is everything. Yeah, winning is everything. Winning is everything. If you every keep yourself in good shape That's and it. strength. And having faith. Faith. You believe in yourself, you love yourself, you love people, and you're doing things from the heart. From the heart. It will all come. It's just that, like they say, it doesn't matter what your religion is. It's, it's, it's a thing that whatever scripture you're reading from, Catholic, Roman, whatever, in your scriptures, they all have the same type of scripture in every religion about you have to be patient. Patient is in every book. Every dialogue book, you hear the word patience. It comes in time. When your time is ready, it's coming. That's, that's to hear that, it's to hate to hear it. But the, the main thing is, they say you got to be humble. You cannot sit here and, and argue with people when there's nothing to argue with. Let them argue by themselves. My father said to us all the time. You know, as, as kids, because, you know, as, as children, they get lost because of peer pressure. And that's why I said this sport got to get off the ground. You got to keep it alive. You got to keep it alive. That's why I'm in the group chat. What's happening <laughs> with friends of mine my age in the third? We're all in the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Well, it's weird. Listen. It's actually a good idea. But to we, listen, we got a few minutes, right? So I want you to tell them, explain to them real quick about the group chat and how it works and everything, because we got to bring up your um, ending so I can show it to them, so we can show it on TV, what you're actually doing and where they can find you and everything. So I'm going to give you the floor right now. I'm not going to say nothing else, but I try to crack down Mr. Kitty, Kitty Graham. <laughs> Real quick, Kitty Graham, y'all. Go ahead, Sal. It's the WhatsApp group chat that I'm in.
than that. One of my friends went to the, that I used to play with in the city. He came to, I, I showed him, he just moved to Staten Island recently, a few months ago. I said, well, come to Midland. Uh, there's people there. And then I came there, and he didn't know the other people. And they're like, oh, other people that were playing there were from another park of Staten And he's like, we all got to, oh, I used to play in this other park when all he was there. Oh, what's your number together? What's your number together? And then mm -hmm. that's how we all connected. Right. So, so when they connected like that, that's, this is where we're at. So we want to show them actually where they can find you and show a video. So we can ready to show that right now. Isn't that right, Mr. Kenny Graham? <laughs> yeah, it's a little doc. I had to cut the documentary, but it was, it was one of the handball players. Oh. It captured in the beginning, and then it shows a picture of me. Mm -hmm. With the do wear white, with the same, actually, I have the same white do wear I got home. Okay. It's from 20, it's from 2010, and I have the same dog with it home. Okay. And wow. I cut the clip in, and then I, and then I added the thing with the YouTube, I added, I added that in. Okay. And a couple of people been going on YouTube recently, and they like the, That's like, they so, like all my videos, so, so, and they send comments. So how's, how's your, how's your rating going up? Is it going up high so far? So you put it on YouTube? Well, it's pretty, it's in the middle right now. That's okay, you just started. Don't worry. We're going to keep trying to promote that because, you know, I like YouTube. But I just, like I said, I got to get my channel together. I have a YouTube channel that needs work done to it. And I don't, people have to excuse me, but it will get together it's very soon. So a lot of people out of state don't live in New York want to watch my shows. So that's why I try to record as much as I can. But I'm not the best tech, for, tech person, as you know. It's just not really, you know, but anyway, it is what it is. But um, we're going to get started on that because I really want them to see um, the video. Well, I like, yeah. I cut that a clip, and if again, I did that myself, because mm -hmm. when I add my videos, because I'm going to be doing a little documentary on myself in okay. December, I'm going to add everything together. Okay. And this is part of the... Uh, where they can find me. So, and all right, so listen, let's show it. I'd like to show it now, Sal, Sal's video and his YouTube channel so people can look in and check him out. So let's look at that right now, people. Bring it up. See the videos and you can comment. Yes, make sure you go on that YouTube channel. We're gonna bring it back. I'm gonna put it on my social media. Thank you, Kenny. That was actually a lot. It took you. me a lot of work to do that by the really? phone. I had to do it by cell phone. Not bad, not bad. You're pretty good. I give you that stuff. It you took about a few uh, long hours. And not bad. Editing at all. and adding all that in together. Wow. So we got five minutes left, and I want you to tell them. Let's talk about it again where they can find you on social media. I want you to just go ahead and say it out loud. It's you on Facebook. It's Facebook. Tell me your name. Uh, your name Sal Sally together. Mm -hmm. And you want to spell you, that? S A L C O T I C E L L I. If you go on a web and you just type my name, and or and you could actually find me on there too. Right. Okay. And you're also on Instagram. Instagram, that I don't know about right. my head right now. Okay. But I'm on, we'll Instagram to to on Instagram too. TikTok. Um, you on TikTok? I post the videos you on TikTok too. You don't show me how to do TikTok. I don't know how to do TikTok. I don't. It makes it into TikTok. Tell me about TikTok, how it works. I just want to hear how well, you, what you use with it. Because I, I have see the videos. So many people I don't even know that even like the video. And I think... I go live sometimes. I had to get over how many views? Oh, how many people? You have to get a certain amount of people to request you. Then you could go live. I got so many. That's how TikTok works. Yeah, I got. So, so explain to me. I actually Butterscotch to Andy with me, Punchball like Sal. I'm on my Facebook Live on one phone, Facebook Live on this phone. You know, you can see. They, they, 
It shows how many views. And I'm recording if it. Them, if you get a lot of views, then you wind up getting something from TikTok that they send you. And you got to get like a, a, can't really say, but. You mean they can send you money? They send you a donation money if you have, if you get more than a lot of views. You got to have like, I don't know if it's 10 hunt or 12 hunt, a lot of views. What? I had I had something said to me. It was very it was okay. a low, but I had twelve hundred and twenty four views of a video and it was only for one day. Stop. That's why everybody's on TikTok? Yeah, they 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 what? they actually So it's not like see, Instagram. You could go on there and promote anything on there yeah. and the more and once your video stops live they can replay it and see it. And the more views you get, that's how... Wow. So it's not set up like Instagram. No. I had 1,224. That's why I'd be so excited. Hey, look what I got. Because they keep sending me like, some of my reels that I've done, video reels I've done. Somebody posted them. And TikTok keeps sending me messages that they like my reels and they would like me to... They would like me to get on TikTok, and I keep declining them. What? I got time for another social media page. You could just talk, you could do a, a minute video, you walk it, and you'll get, a friend of mine did a video five minutes, he got 900-something views, and he was just coming home on a train. What? <laughs> well, they take the people on the train, guys with a... Guys, oh, I got a lot of guys, videos. I got a lot of videos. Oh my so you God. have to watch. Some of the videos, you go, you could go on their, vi you know, they post. You could actually save their video and use it. <laughs> Why? That's not against the law? Some of them, it's not, but you have to watch. If they catch, they can report it. Also, they're reporting that you're fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. But anyway, it was good having this down here today. We gotta go now. Our hour is already up, y'all. I just want to say I'm glad to have Sal back here. I'm glad. I'm sorry it took me so long, Sal, to get to part two, but I didn't forget to because I love him to death. I love conversating with this man because he is so interesting. And like I said, anybody out there that's interested in powerball or handball, you need to get in touch with this man here. And they know me as Punchball Sal Punchball. everywhere. Thank you. Punchball Sal.